One of my favorite ways to use these campaigns that are automatically created in Salesforce is by removing these individuals from invitation reminders. Bear with me a moment as I go through this example. So on the left, we have what your initial invitation or invite one would be. So in this example, I've gone ahead and said that we would include an audience of Anschutz students, let's say for example. And so when we do that initial send, we don't really exclude people, um, but that's not a part of the initial send. But as you move on to the right side of the screen or invitation to um, that reminder invite that you might send um, as the deadline to register is approaching, you would again include those Anschutz students, so the exact same audience that you included on send one, but now you can go ahead and exclude that campaign. And so by way of doing that, you're really targeting your messages. And so a number of times I've seen individuals not do this, and I've even been on the receiving end of it where I thought I registered for an event, and then I get the reminder, or re re reminder to register, and I'm thinking, did my registration go through or not? And so it can often cause concern and confusion from the constituents standpoint, but they're also probably going to reach out to you. And so it can almost cause more heartache for you. And so just doing this on the front end, really making sure the right messages are getting to the right audiences, that it's always relevant to that group is really important. So now I'm going to go through that similar example, but actually in marketing cloud. So one thing I really like to do as I'm getting ready to send my second invitation is make sure that I can find the campaign in Salesforce. And the reason I like to do that is because then you know you have access to it. And so if you're having a hard time finding it in Salesforce, there's a chance once you get to Marketing Cloud, you're not going to be able to exclude it. So it's just a bit of due diligence I like to do. And the other reason I really like to look at the campaign in Salesforce is so that I can copy the campaign name. So I'm going to go ahead and do this right now, but I'll show you in Marketing Cloud why I wanted to copy that. All right, so I've got my invitation pulled up in front of me. I'll go ahead and send it, the blue button in the top, really walk you through this example. So defining your properties is no different than you're used to. Um, but one thing that I do like to do in these reminder messages is either add something like reminder, um, register by this time or date, um, last chance to register, something that really puts that urgency and hopefully entices them to open that message. So I'll go ahead and put reminder. So I went ahead and just updated that subject. Now, while I'm at it, I'm actually going to go ahead and follow that suggestion um, and add in here register um, by October 20th. Then otherwise, you'll go ahead and select your from options um, by clicking the right send classification. Now, as always, with these invites, really wanting to make sure that delivery profile is set to view footer for all emails. And that is what allows people to opt out of messages if they wish to. So none of that should have been too different, um, aside from me modifying that subject line and pre-header. So with that, I can go ahead and hit next in the guided send wizard. And so now I'm on that phase two of selecting the audience. And this is where you'll do one step slightly different. And so just like my original send, um, I can go ahead and find the report 
and who do I want to include? And in this example, it was and shoot students. I'm actually just going to go ahead and do a search up here um, for the report that I know I want to target. Um, your ecom specialist should have provided this name to you. So, of course, you wouldn't be doing this exact example. But you go ahead and add that to your targeted. And so everything up until this point should be exactly like you did your first invitation. And so what we'll want to really pay attention to, noting that we're trying to exclude people who have already registered for our event, is focusing on this excluded area. And so it's important to note that I had mentioned campaigns earlier. And so if you're searching in these reports um, for the campaign, there's a good chance you're not going to find it. And so be mindful of clicking the Salesforce campaign um, button here. And so these are really only used as exclusions. If you are trying to target a campaign, there is a very, very good chance it would be a can spam violation. And so at Ecom, we just fundamentally say you do not send or target campaigns. You are more than welcome to exclude them, however. And so having that campaign name that I already copied from Salesforce, I can easily just search for it. I found that campaign, and it's as simple as dragging it into the excluded area. And so with that step done, you're good to go ahead and hit next and continue with configuring the delivery, reviewing, and officially sending your communication.